The Azure IoT Central solution is evolving. We're adding tons of features, and Miriam is coming on the show for explaining or showing uh, the integration of the Azure Maps feature, how to locate your devices in IoT Central really easily. And thanks for watching the IT Show. I'm Olivier, your host. Um, today, we have Miriam with us. Hey, Miriam, how are you doing? Hi, Olivier. I'm good. good. Thank you. How are you? So, fine, fine. So, Miriam, you're part of the Azure IT team. You've been in the team for some time already. You're mm -hmm. not the, the, the new in the team. Like, people are coming every day in this team. The team is growing like crazy. And so are our products, right? And so, you're part of the Azure IoT Central team. Mm -hmm. Why are you here today? Okay, thank you for having me here. Um, I'm here to uh, walk you through the one of the recent features that we've added in IoT Central. Yeah. Specific the uh, location using location property and maps. Okay. Powered by Azure Maps. Awesome. So now we have that integration. So. For you folks who are following, uh, you might know that IT Central is that SaaS solution for creating very easily IoT applications without having to care about the services and the scaling and so right. forth. Um, and so Azure Maps is that other past service that is part of the Azure story exactly. that we're bringing into um, Azure IoT Central, right? And so you're going to show us how that works. Yeah, so how about you tell us a bit more about this uh, Azure Maps integration to IoT Central, and then you're going to show us, right? Sure. Um, so, uh, as you as you said, um, IoT Central uh, uh, brings the true simplicity of SaaS to IoT, okay. and Azure Maps provides um, a portfolio of special geo functionality yeah. to, for IoT uh, applications. Uh, so one of the uh, recent integration that we've done is actually the ability to use and add a location property okay. right in your IoT Central application and then also visualize it in a map, uh, okay. again, without any expertise on um, the cloud side. Yeah. And, and yeah, one of the things we're saying about IoT Central is that it's codeless, right? So you exactly. don't have to write code or write against APIs right. of services. Uh, I'm curious to see how that looks like in IT Central now. Yeah, it's it's pretty easy. Okay. Um, so the um, uh, currently we you can add as a location as a as a cloud property or as okay. a device property. Okay. A cloud property or application property is really something that you want to um, add in your application that ne doesn't necessarily come from your device or is okay. not designed from your device. Okay. Example, uh, it can be. Um, some customer info that you have, or it might be, for instance, some installation info. Okay. While device property is actually a reported property that will uh, be sent from uh, the device. Got for it. instance, that you can use it to track actually where mm -hmm. the device might be. So basically, the, um, the, the cloud properties are like cloud only, right? right? IT central only, something known by the cloud, uh, while the properties are reported by the device themselves, they're going through the device twin right. in the back end. Yeah. Right. Okay, got it. Exactly. Um, so let me walk you through an example here. Um, here I have a refrigerator. Let's okay. say I have the sample Contuso mm -hmm. app, and I went right on the properties tab. Okay. And I've already um, um, set up, added a location property. Okay. So actually let me remove this for a second. The way you do this is by adding this location okay. property, and this will be uh, the property that will uh, provide you um, uh, location uh, that's powered from uh, by Azure Maps. Awesome. And so this is all the way drag and drop. This is the like IoT central goodness of being able to create your dashboards directly in that web page. Exactly, yeah. Got it. Uh, so let's do that. I. I'm trying to add an installation location for okay. this refrigerator one mm -hmm. that I have. And I might I happen to know the address, which is the Microsoft Office in Seattle. Okay. So I'm gonna start typing that app and it's as you can see, as I'm typing this app, I'm starting to get some data, uh, suggestion data from right from Azure Maps uh, in, uh, 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 while I do this. Okay. And so let's say so there, there's nothing you have to pre-populate. You, you don't have a list of addresses or whatnot, right? Azure Maps does the work exactly. of finding the address based on your input. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's exactly as you've seen it here. So it happens to be this is the address that I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, I'll select this and I will uh, save it, right? Okay. Uh, so what's happening really here is I'm inputting an address, right? So yeah. this is an address and. Um, uh, we're passing this address to Azure Azure Maps, mm -hmm. uh, and then um, which is actually finding and uh, mapping 
to the to the location okay. coordinate, okay. which is called um, geocoding. Geo so we okay. use the geocoding here. Got it. Uh, so we have this uh, perfectly an address here. Mm, Azure Maps also uh, supports um, um, at least for 38 regions um, uh, geocoding up to the street address. Okay. However, I can still add uh, city level addresses. Okay. Uh, for instance, I might do uh, Zmara, which is actually my home city, okay. and I can find it, which is very pretty cool. Awesome. How many regions do you say? Uh, 38 regions. 38 regions. Down okay. to the uh, home address and street okay. level, and for the rest of the world, you can still map uh, city okay. level, which is very cool. Got it. Okay. Uh, so, what we're going to do here. Actually, let me go back and uh, do my Westlake address. Okay. This is where we're going to have a barbecue later, right? Yeah. Today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now that I've added it, right, the second thing that I want to do with this. Um, information is actually go to my device dashboard. Okay. And uh, while I'm looking at my other data, mm -hmm. uh, I'm able to visualize uh, mm -hmm. this location on a map. On a map. Uh, again, we're using Azure Maps uh, okay. here to render, to render the map. And once again, it's been like drag and drop. I'm creating my dashboard for that device. Here is the map control or widget or whatever we call exactly. them. Exactly. And then automatically, it's getting the information from that device. Uh, and that one was a cloud property to set. Or exactly. The, yeah, it's it a, a cloud, cloud property. property. And you can <coughs> see that there are all the maps functionality. Obviously, as you zoom awesome. out, there's uh, low fidelity on the information. Okay. As you zoom in, there's going to be higher uh, okay. fidelity, at least for 200 regions. Love it. Um, so another example that I want to show you, though, is you might have certain parts of the world where you don't have an address, but yeah. you might not a coordinate, actually. Well, okay. um, an example, maybe I have this refrigerator, too. Don't mm -hmm. ask me why, but like in the Rift Valley. OK. okay. <laughs> so I know it could, <laughs> could, be, could be super hot down yeah. there. <laughs> I know um, the coordinate for it. Okay. So I've entered actually this uh, the coordinate information uh, here. Information. Okay. And uh, s uh, in the same way, actually, let me just go here. You will see that in the device dashboard, uh, you see that the device is here. Actually, maybe I can. Uh, zoom it out, and you can see that exactly this is this is a, in it. the Rift Valley in Tanzania. For is this example, we really use just the coordinates. Got it. No, you can imagine address. other scenarios like you're uh, you're on a uh, you know rock pump in the middle of nowhere, exactly. and you want that location. There's no streets there. Yeah. So definitely, uh, yeah, I, I totally get it. That's nice. Okay. Right. Uh, the second example is, uh, I mentioned the device property, and yes. that's where the fun yes. comes. Yeah. Um, so I have an MX chip here, okay. um, which has actually an example of the uh, location property. Okay. So it's very easy to use. You can just download yeah. the firmware. Yeah. And, um, and that's, a, that's a fake address because there's no GPS on that device, right? That's true. But then yeah. you can imagine exactly. having a device with a GPS, yeah. it gets the information, and you would actually pass it up to IoT Central the exact same way you're doing exactly. that sample. Exactly. Yeah, okay. you got it. Yeah. So exactly. in this case, uh, this is a reported property from the device. Okay. Um, it's going around some interstate, and okay. it's kind of changing uh, once in a while. Oh, it's moving. It's got moving. It. It's a moving yeah, device. <laughs> Love it. Exactly. <laughs> and um, we can see here, maybe like, let's try to locate where, where it went. Where has it gone? Where did it go? <laughs> oh, there. I can oh, see it. Oh, yeah. It's I can see it. Yeah. So it's coming east side. It's coming. We can back, come back and see like where it's going, actually, maybe. OK. Um, so pretty much, um, these are the two ways you can add a location property okay. as a cloud property. Mm -hmm. Again, it's, it's not required uh, for that data to come from the device. Okay. But there might be legit use cases for that. or it can be a data that comes yeah. from your device. In that case, you might be tracking actually. Because you want to track that in real time and see where the device yeah. is standing. Got it. So now, I know you might have a question that says, hey. I have a question. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what about a lot of devices together? Yes. Yes. Um, Am I exactly. right? Is that the question? Y yes, that's yes. the question. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We think alike. What's going on when you have tons of devices? I know. Yeah. So IoT Central has um, uh, a great. Uh, um, solution for that in terms of the device sets, okay. where you can group a number of devices that you're interested through certain criteria, and then you want to see data of those devices yeah. uh, 
uh, in a certain way. Got it. Like um, if I have, I'm managing my assets and say, hey, I want to see where all the fridges are. Exactly. Right? So you like just filter by sets of devices right. in IoT Central. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So I have this example um, just for you, because yeah. I knew we were going to have to this question, <laughs> uh, where I have uh, thin refrigerators okay. uh, around in the Puget Sound. Okay. Uh, the You can see that, uh, in fact, some of the um, addresses that I have for this, there's a specific point of interest, like FedEx office that I've entered, okay. right? Because okay. Azure uh, Maps will return me the address mm -hmm. for that mm -hmm. as well. Uh, you can see that I have coordinate for some of them. Okay. And then in some cases, I have actually kind of an area um, mm -hmm. address there. Mm -hmm. And this map now shows me all the devices right, okay. that are in the set, and I can see all their locations. And so pretty much, um, uh, this is the one that's in Magnolia or okay. Magnolia. I don't no, know how no. you pronounce it. I don't know either. Okay, like, doesn't it. matter. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the French way. <laughs> I would say the Italian the way. Man Magnolia. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Close. Um, and so, and then you can you can look at all of them, uh, the ones that you have here. For instance, if you would have devices in more than this region, mm -hmm. it would just uh, render Exp expand the map for exactly. you to see everything. Yeah. So you, everything you would expect from a map feature, at 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 a click away, right? Because it's just drag and drop. You have the map uh, in IoT Central. Yeah. Also, yeah. just one uh, thing. Also yeah. here, you might have seen that I have different colors. Oh yeah, this is a yeah. recent addition Indeed. that the team uh, just added. In terms of, uh, I can color, I can decide my co the color of the pin okay. to be uh, through my the device state, oh, which is cool because so then like you can say, hey, in this case, um, the device state is normal, so yeah. I can say, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm not worried. But this one, I can see it's a little red. It says caution. Yeah, so cool. So you can actually use these colors to show on the map to the operator or to whoever is using that IoT Central application what the status of the device is at a glance. So it's like pretty useful. Love that. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Awesome. That was great. Uh, you know, perspective on this new feature, Miriam. I am sure I will see you soon with more. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching the IoT Show. Don't forget to subscribe. There's links down there or up there. Don't remember. Uh, and we'll have more news from Miriam on IoT Central Features Wilson. Thank you. Thank you.